Hey there, I'm Richard from ShootingRichard.com. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make a book trailer using nothing but a cell phone and a little bit of creativity. Now maybe you know as much about making book trailers as I do about seasoning woolly mammoth meat, but that's okay, we're gonna barbecue this bad boy together. Now normally I would use a regular camera and film equipment, but for this case, I wanted to show you how you can make something pretty good out of just about nothing. So, let's check it out. Okay, so what did I do? Well, first I had to establish some rules. I wanted to use only a cell phone, practical lights, and things that I had laying around the house. I also had a physical copy of my book, In a World, and an editing program, Adobe Premiere. Normally for texture animation, I use After Effects, but I wanted to make something most people could do with any editing program. The first thing I did was write a script. I wanted it to be about 30 seconds and I wanted to imagine something I could do without any actors or voiceover talent or anything like that that would cost me money because I don't have any. Also, I'm on lockdown, so my resources are fairly limited. With that in mind, I designed the trailer to be shots of the book and text, and that's pretty much it. I used my book synopsis and other marketing copy to build the skeleton of the script, and then I improvised from there to get the right feel and tone. I wanted to use all of the cheesy tricks and cliches that you see in a lot of movie trailers in order to make this feel like a cheesy movie trailer because that's kind of like the shtick of my book. So you're probably gonna wanna write something different. I didn't storyboard it because I do have enough experience that I kind of know what I'm looking for, but I did use visual cues in the script that I wrote. It wasn't exactly a big and sexy Hollywood shoot. It was basically just me holding my cell phone horizontal and moving it around so I got the shot that I want. Now, I did move practical lights and lamps here and there so that I could get different angles, and I just experimented a lot. The big takeaway I found was that moving the camera or moving the phone was actually really, really impactful in helping me get a little bit more of a cinematic look to it. So, if you can, try to very smoothly put camera moves on your book trailer. Otherwise, you run the risk of it looking like a slideshow or a PowerPoint. If your phone shoots in slow motion, I recommend taking a look at that feature as well because that could give you some really buttery smooth camera moves. Now be warned, if you do shoot in slow motion, you're going to need more light. Otherwise, your footage will look grainy or noisy. I also filmed different textures to act as backgrounds for my text. So you'll see I used a yoga mat, a few house plants, even the circuit board inside of a speaker. Then I just set up a dark blanket as my background and put my book on top of a wooden coffee table to give me kind of a cool product setting. Now, I spent way too much time lighting and getting to look just right. In fact, it was so tedious I lost my assistant at one point. But this is a book trailer and if it is your book and your baby, you might wanna be prepared to spend as much time as you can to experiment and to get everything that you want. What I shot was fairly specific to my idea, but you can do something similar for just about any type of book there is. The idea is to get cool shots of the book in different backgrounds. Where would you put your book in order for the background or the foreground or whatever it's sitting on to make sense? What would look cool? What would be a good little diorama for you to put your book in? If you can set up a couple of shots like that and film those, you've already got a book trailer already set. I cut my trailer together in Adobe Premiere because that's what I have and that's what I'm most familiar with. But you can really do this in just about any editing program. So pick the one that you're most comfortable with. Because all I really did was cut from one shot to the next. I didn't do any crazy transitions and I, I don't even think I did any fades. 
I did cheat a little bit by using warp stabilizer to make my shots smoother, but your trailer may not call for that. It really just depends on what you're trying to do. I created the text titles in Premiere also using their super clunky graphics creator. It took me a while to get the right look, and what I found most useful was the four color gradient. That, combined with conservative use of a bevel and a drop shadow, gave me that faux 3D look that you see. I've also found that for text, having a gradient of any kind usually makes it look a little bit better than just having flat text. For the section with the different genre callouts, all I did was change the font and maybe a few colors. I always say that music is the most important thing, and in this case, I actually paid for a royalty-free song from Audio Jungle. This wasn't because I couldn't find the right music for free, but more because I'm lazy and I didn't want to do the search. I already had a few Audio Jungle collections from my past projects, so it saved me a lot of time. And you'll notice I added a very simple call to action there. I didn't have anything specific to promote, but I wanted to let people know where they could find the book and that they should get it immediately. Once I put it all together, I made sure I was ready to show it off, and then I handed it to some folks for review. Always, always have someone review your book trailer before you post it. In fact, that's good advice for any marketing that you do. So whether it's your book blurb, your synopsis, your book itself, or your book trailer, always have someone you trust take a look at it. My main problem was that I had too much text too fast. So I had to go in and make some very painful cuts and cut out some of that witty banter that I really wanted to keep. And I still probably have too much text and still probably going too fast, but I just couldn't bring myself to cut anymore. Your trailer is likely to look much different than mine, and I would encourage you to share it. So if it's ready to go, leave a link in the comments below. If you want some constructive criticism, feel free to send it to me directly. I'll leave directions in the dropy down. Remember to like and subscribe and do all of that fun wibbly wobby webby stuff. And finally, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. That's fairly long winded to be honest. <laughs>